Well, that was a good song to open up with. Yes. Um, this morning I want to talk about whales and digging whales. Genesis um, 29.1 says, Then Jacob went on his journey and came into the land of the people of the east. And he looked, and behold, a well in the field. And lo, there were three flocks lying by it. And for out of that well they watered the flocks. And a great stone was upon the well's mouth. And thither were all the flocks gathered, and they rolled the stone from the well's mouth and watered the sheep, and put the stone again upon the well's mouth in its place. So a well is a place where those that are thirsty gather to drink. And we have a great well to drink of this morning, so I propose that we roll the stone off the mouth of the well and all the sheep drink of it. I also want to encourage all of us here to be well diggers. I know there are several of this profession already here, um, and many of us have drawn water from these wells that they've dug, and we've partaken of it. And it is indeed refreshing, is it not? And this digging that I'm speaking of is thinking on Christ, uh, looking into Him and the Father and beholding their glory. In Genesis 49:22, it says, Joseph is a fruitful bough, even a fruitful bough by a well whose branches run over the wall. Yeah. So we know Joseph is a type of Christ, and Christ is here among us this morning by this well. So let us partake of his fruit and drink of this water that he will provide. You will never become fruitless when thinking on Christ. Amen. Jesus will not produce inferior fruit. These two statements are some of the water that I drew from a wells that people dug, the brethren dug this last week. Um, it is indeed encouraging to know that when you focus on Christ and when you look unto Him and you're really looking into Christ, that there will not be inferior fruit produced. In this digging, I want to encourage you to look uh, to the things that Christ has to give you. Look at all the trees available to eat from. You will find much there to enjoy. Do not focus on the giants that have uh, to be overcome before you enter in. Just enter in and start digging. If you are, you are more easily distracted on the peripheral, Satan has more access to your mind, so focus on the one that can make your labors bountiful. You will never be worse off by looking into Christ or at Christ. Just as it said, uh, the more water you drink, the more you want of it, the more you see of Christ, the more you want. We also think of digging when, uh, when searching for diamonds or precious stones. You may have found some of these yourself, or you may know someone that's found some. Or maybe they've even found bigger stones and diamonds than you have, or jewels. On the earth, there are fields that are noted for valuable jewels and, and for underground water. So it's important to know that the field you're digging in has valuables or has water there. Amen. When this is determined, then you dig. Uh, same thing with water. You determine where the place is and then you start digging. There's no getting around it. The well has to be dug or the, the jewels have to be uncovered. You might dig all day and you might find nothing, but the person beside you might find something. They might have a huge beauty and you can look at it. Or they may strike water and you're thirsty so you drink. Or you admire the large jewel and, and the different facets of it that the brethren show you. And you might even find some brethren that are like a well springing up, gushing with living water. And you drink of the water that they've drawn. If you are faithful, God thinks of you and he will send you truth. And faith is the only thing that can see truth. Unbelief will never be able to see it. So um, you have to believe and you have to be looking into Christ to see this truth and he will show the Father in himself. Truth is the water and the, the valuable stones that I'm talking about. Um, Matthew 7, 7 says, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened to you. So you have to be seeking in the right place and for the right thing. Jesus said in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So if you're looking uh, to see Jesus, if you're not looking to see Jesus, you're wasting your time. So stop digging in that field. God is a good father. Which one of you and, and everyone here has had children uh, or have stepchildren or have spiritual children? So which one of you, if you, had, if you were, uh, your child asked him for a fish, would give him a serpent? We have this example in the Bible. 
So it says, If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask him? And the good things is to see Christ. Genesis 26 says, And there was a famine in the land beside the, beside the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went unto Abimelech, king of the Philistines, unto Gerar. And the Lord appeared unto him and said, Go not down into Egypt. Dwell in the land which I tell thee of. Sojourn in this land, and I will be with thee and will bless thee. So God shows us where the productive land is. Many of us have been called of God to come to this land to sojourn while there is a famine in the world, even in the place where people claim to see Christ. There's a famine. The scriptures continue to say, Then Isaac sowed in that land and received in the same year a hundredfold, and the Lord blessed him. And the man waxed great and went forward and grew until he became very great. But then came the well stoppers. We have diggers and stoppers, and I also drew this from uh, uh, last week or a few weeks ago. I was sitting thinking of this, and then all of a sudden all the brethren started talking about it, and I said, there you go, there's my opening. Um, we have those that go around filling up wells with dirt, and th there are those that are digging the wells that provide vital water for the saints. Uh -huh. Genesis goes on to say, For he had possession of flocks and possessions of herds and great, a great store of servants, and the Philistines envied him. For all the wells which his father's servants had digged in the days of Abraham his father, the Philistines had stopped them and filled them with earth. And Abimelech said unto Isaac, Go from us, for thou art much mightier than we. Many of our brethren here have been rejected because the Lord has blessed them with much truth. They have departed from where they were and came here. And we have dug again the wells that have been stopped up by those who did not want God's people to freely drink. Genesis, uh, Genesis goes on to say, Isaac departed from thence and pitched his tent in the valley of Gerar and dwelt there. And Isaac digged again the wells of water, so he had to dig them all over again, yeah. and went, which they had dug, digged in the days of Abraham his father, for the Philistines had stopped them up after the death of Abraham. And Isaac's servants digged in the valley and found there a well of springing water. And the scriptures go on to note that there was many wells dug. There was a lot of well digging going on. And there were several places where they dug wells and different ones strove against them. But finally, they dug a well that no one strove against them for. And then he said, Now the Lord hath made room for us, and we shall be fruitful in the land. So our Lord has made room for us here and provided much water and many wells from, from uh, which to drink. This is a fruitful land he has given us. Um, so I want to encourage you this morning to drink of this water while you have the chance. Jesus' servants are well diggers. And water is something we cannot live without. And we know there's a spiritual parallel here as you uh, cannot have spiritual life either without the water that Jesus gives. So let's continue to labor together digging and drawing and sharing this water and giving it freely. And more importantly, let's continue to drink of this water the Lord has provided for us. Amen. Amen.